Okay, so I thought I'd do another MedNAF video, um, and this time I'm covering Game Gear, uh, which didn't go too well initially. Um, I was looking through the games, I was trying some things that I was familiar with, I was looking through various forums and what people had recommended, and a lot of the games were very disappointing. And I thought, I almost didn't bother, uh, and then I managed to find some decent ones. So there are there are actually some decent games on Game Gear, uh, and it came out around about 1990, so a little after the ordinary Game Boy. Um, here we go, so let's start off with Buster Move. Certainly some of the games I'd tried before seemed very rushed, uh, and really didn't, they just weren't pleasant to play, they didn't make very good use of the screen. Uh, they they just it just wasn't good, but this is decent. It's not the easiest to see the angles. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was terrible, wasn't it? Right, okay, that's better. That was good. So if you've played, can I get both of those? No, not if I shoot like that. Maybe it was easier to, to see. I'm very close to the screen as I usually am when I shoot these videos. Oh, don't want the green. Well, that's good though. There we go. So that's Buster Move. Close that down. So my mouse is a bit sketchy. It's probably because I've got my cable tied up a bit to make it a bit neater. Right. I've got my fan on now. A uh, previous video shows you the fan working. Uh, and if you want to know how to run all these games, um, there is a video. My SNES video is the one that kind of goes through it all. So this Marble Madness, I remember in the arcade had uh, like a trackball, uh, and it was really good in the arcade. But it actually still works fine on this. Um, the controls are just just the joypad, really. Have I done something? I paused it. Oh. But yeah, something about it was just very different to a lot of other games uh, around at the time, and a really good idea. But with the trackball, you found yourself flinging the trackball around like really fast to try and meet certain time levels. It doesn't have the same sort of effect with a controller, but it's still it's still enjoyable enough. It's still something a little bit different. Uh, it's a game, I mean, I can't think of any games like it today. And as you go a bit further on, there are, yeah, there's, there's other balls and things that you can't crash into and you can't go down, uh, you can't drop down sheer drops. You can drop a little bit. <laughs> and as you, oh, there you go. And if you drop down, that's what happens and it gets swept away. So Marble Madness. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, desktop, Game Gear, Mickey Mouse. This is really decent for this platform. Uh, it's it is very playable. The graphics are quite nice. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it was a pleasant surprise when I came across this because some of the other platformers were just, just awful. Uh, and uh, and taking into account the age of it, you know, I mean, I've I've been gaming since the the ZX80 uh, and the ZX Spectrum would be my first sort of enjoyable gaming experience. Uh, although actually we used to have a Benetone before that, um, so uh, you know I know that not to expect too much. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. while you read what's on the screen. Obviously very important to the story. Uh, did I press the wrong button then? I think I might have. Ah, oh, pressing the wrong button. Right, okay, I've obviously got to move and then press the button. There we go, that's more like it. So we've got jump. I'm not sure what the other button does. Uh, but if you 
if you go on to something like this, you kind of jump and then press it as you're going down, I think, to, to crush through things. Let's get that much more. Oh, that was terrible. Oh! Oh! It, it is quite difficult because there's, there's a lot going on on the screen and there isn't loads of space. And you can climb up. And then I wasn't sure where you went from here. There's like a... Oh! Oh, crikey! As I say, it, it is pretty playable. Oh no, no. Oh well. I am so bad at this. Right, I was better in the when I wasn't filming. Let's go all the way to the end because there's something else here. Oh, that gives me some more. Right, got some more energy now. Take me anywhere? Doesn't seem to take me anywhere, does it? I think it's this side. Oh, yeah, there's a couple here, that. Nice little wobble there. Oh, and this, this wind bit's weird because it picks you up. <laughs> oh. And it, so yeah, really, really enjoyable. Uh, a, a decent, proper old school platform game. I won't go on on that too much, but yeah, lots of different elements that I really liked on that. So what have we got next? Oh, Mortal Kombat. So this was a pleasant surprise because a lot of the graphics uh, initially had been so bad, um, and and a lot of the gameplay had been so basic. I mean, some of the side scrolling. Uh, like fighting games and things like that were just awful on this platform, but uh, but this the graphics were pretty fluid really. Lots to read. Oh, and this bit takes a while to go away for some reason. Whether it's loading something up. There you go. Press start. I remember buying this on. I think it was the Mega Drive, uh, and I think it was fifty pounds. Uh, for the game in oh, some record store in, in Exeter at the time and uh, the same day the Prince album came out uh, and it was like a triple triple album and uh, I spent 80 quid which at the time was quite a lot of money for me to spend uh, but there, I played this in the arcade and it, and it was incredible but yeah, I think they've done quite a good job with the graphics. And a lot of the moves and stuff still seem to be there. Obviously, I don't know how to do any of them. Oh, I could have. I don't know how to do the finishing moves. But that's Mortal Kombat. Again, I was pleasantly surprised at that. I thought that was actually very playable. Paperboy 2, not the best, but I thought they'd done it quite well. Um, oh, I see, so it tells you on the thing. So we've got the left-hand side for the three first houses and then the right-hand side, right. And you have, you can, you can check the papers left and right. So that's that one house. Oh. Oh yeah, two houses. So then after this one, I need to go to the to the whoop to the right. So hey, okay, maybe maybe not. Don't know what that guy's doing outside the arcade. Looks dodgy though. So I'll chuck a paper. Right, so is it now? Oh, okay. 
Oh, I don't know what that middle bit was then. Oh. Lovely music. Was that newspaper? Oh, there's a newspaper and a, and a jump in there. I don't know what I don't know what happens there. Oh, so it's oh targets. Oh, but yeah, again, really considering the platform, I thought this played alright actually. I thought it was quite enjoyable, and I've been praised. Right, so oh, and it gives me all that what I what I delivered to. So, last one uh, is, and I haven't done these in any particular order, they're just, they're probably alphabetical, yes they are. Streets of Rage, actually, yeah, this is, this is very good. Uh, and this is very good on loads of different consoles. I managed to get the Amiga working yesterday, which I was really pleased about, but I need to do a bit more research into um, controller and various other things. Not through Mednaf. But um, separately installed. Oh, get out! I was jumping. But yeah, this so this is enjoyable. <laughs> Apart from when you're getting pummeled. Quick, get away from him! He's going to slide. Oh. I'm not sure what the move is when you when you go over them when you like somersault over them like that I'm not sure what you press to then finish them off There you go, so that's what, six games on the Game Gear. I'm going to cover more games on Mednaf, uh, if I didn't mention. So if you're looking to, to set this up, look for my SNES Mednaf video, uh, because it shows you how to install it, how to get it running. And uh, I'm, I'm concentrating because there's a guy with a stick. And now I've got a stick. Have it. Uh, and uh, it also shows you how to, how to configure the joypad as well, which is which is good, he's got a knife as well. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching. There'll be more of these videos. Please like and subscribe.